Hey everyone, it's Tammy at Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I'm making lip balms, a lot of lip balms. I have 15 ounces of my lip balm base getting ready to be melted. And each scent that I'm using is gonna, is gonna give me about 18 to 20, maybe 21 uh, lip balms. So I am using Mai Tai from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm using watermelon flavor from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I am using cherry berry. I don't know if you can see these. Rustic Essentials and mint truffle. Oh, it smells so good. All of these smell really, really good. They're flavorings. They're not fragrance oils, so they're lip safe fra uh, flavorings. So I'm doing those four like scents, flavors, and then I'm gonna do an unscented one that is really actually my most popular one is the unscented one. So that's this batch. Next, I'm gonna do the vegan one, which is just a vanilla. So I'm gonna go get this melted and then bring you guys back when it's all ready to be split and poured in the tray. It just goes so fast. Once you have, once you have the, um, get it into a colder pitcher here, it just cools down so fast it gets hard to pour. So I'm gonna move pretty quickly. In my lip balm base is, and I'll, I'll link the recipe down below, is pumpkin seed oil, coconut oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, almond oil, and vitamin E oil. And I got the base recipe off Humble Bee of Me, and I just kind of tweaked it. I don't, I haven't looked at that in, in years actually. I'm not exactly sure how far off this is from her original. But I mean, that's kind of where I got started um, with my lip balms was was Marie there at Humble Bee and Me. So I'll post, if I can find it, it's an old one. I think it, I think one of them is like from, tw I think this base is from 2014, something like that. It's it's a long, long time ago. Um, I need, let's see, I have my notes here. This is watermelon. So I'm gonna do two grams of watermelon. I had to, um, Make sure my usage rating was good. And I'm glad I double checked because the cherry berry is like 0.66 uh, in lips. And that's pretty low. So I, I am glad I went back and double checked myself. I try to clean these out when I'm making the lip balms. I wipe these out right away. Anytime I use um, the beeswax, I try to get them wiped out right away. Because you can see, look at my spatula. It's just all gunked up on there. So I'll probably have to remelt this a little bit in the microwave. You just got to keep it warm enough not to, to get that beeswax from setting up too quickly. So here's my tray. I actually went to Oval Lip Balms. I love them. I like how they feel in your hand. And I just um, put, um, goodness, painter's tape. <laughs> I put painter's tape on half of it so I wouldn't get them. I can do two at a time this way. So I'm just going to fill them. Let me, get, let me get this out of my way. Oops. Heavens. Just get, my, get myself a little bit situated here. Wipe this down right away before that gets too hard and I'm just gonna fill these up this tray is great um, it allows you to fill fill these so easily without having to worry about making too much of a mess on the side of your tubes it's a little hard to clean um, to try to get that beeswax off the inside of these holes but I'll take that rather than trying to get these filled without a tray I still try to be a little bit careful. Um, I know, you know, once you get it on here, you can kind of scrape it. And 
look at that. I have to, I have to get that in the microwave real quick and melt that back down. I'm not going to get, yeah, I'm not going to get quite as much as I was hoping to. But I just, I keep melting this down and you can kind of see how they sh shrink. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of scrape this off the top and maybe fill that last one up and then refill some of these that have the sinkholes in them. So now that I kind of made a mess, I'm going to wipe this out really well and get another three ounces. All right. This is so big, it's still nice and hot. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh off my three ounces. All right. And so now for this next size, let's see, let's do something completely different. We'll do the mint truffle. That way I can, if for some reason this gets turned around, at least I'll be able to easily tell which one's which. So my mint truffle, which I call chocolate, uh, chocolate mint, <clears throat> is the one that is only 0.66% uh, safe. So I have to be really careful. And this one is this one is, where is it? Oh, half a gram. And so thankfully, because it is only, I can only put a half a gram in three ounces, it doesn't look like anything, but it's pretty strong. And honestly, I don't like my lip pro pro uh, products to be super strong. I, you know, I don't want to like, and, and other people may, maybe my customers do want a really strong flavored or scented lip balm, but I don't want to smell that on my face the whole time I'm wearing it. You know, I don't mind smelling it a little bit when I first put it on, but I, I don't want that to be all I smell. <laughs> so I'm okay with a very, very lightly scented lip balm. This um, watermelon, I think you could go up to 10%. That'd be crazy. I don't think anybody would do that, but. Alrighty. It's cooling down on me again, so I'm going to, I'm going to move. Let's get this chocolate mint in here. You know, it is really strong. I'm smelling it. So, okay. Happens in a blink of an eye. All right, hang on. All right, so these two scents are poured. So now I'm just going to take the heat gun and kind of remelt the tops, and that's going to get rid of those sinkholes and just make them smooth and nice for your first application. All right, so now we're gonna let these set up. I'll uh, cap them and then we'll get going on the next two. need to check my temperature. That's cooled down a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get my benzoin and my vitamin E in here. Oh shoot guys. Oh, I, I told you I dropped things. I'm horrible. Horrible. 
horrible. All right, let's get this stored in really well. Kind of clouds it up. That's okay. So let me give you the ingredients in this one. This one has stearic acid and candelilla wax, coconut butter, I'm sorry, coconut oil, cocoa butter, and almond oil. And then it has the vitamin E and the benzoin to give it that vanilla flavoring or scent. I don't know. If, I don't think it's a flavor. I think it's just a scent. All right. So I need to transfer this. That one, I can't, I can't, I can't use this anything because it had beeswax in it and I'm going to label this as vegan. And, um, so I need to trans transfer this into a clean one of these so I can Okay. Pour. I just had to spray this with alcohol because I had forgotten to get that ready. So I'm going to pour this in here. Okay, let's get the vanilla in here. Okay, there they are, all separated out by fragrances so I don't get them mixed up. I'm just going to let them sit and cool completely, cap them maybe in three or four hours even. I'm just going to let them sit back there and yeah. That's how I keep them separated and straight. I just keep them all together with their little fragrance oils or flavor oils. And then uh, I keep them that way until they are labeled. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back in just a second to show you how I label them. All right, well, I have all of my um, labels cut. That is a process. I'm not in love with my cutter by any stretch. Um, there's my vanilla. I'm sure you can't see it. I'll try to do like a picture maybe of, of a close-up. Um, I use these online labels that are waterproof they're not waterproof they're like weatherproof i guess um but the the paper label paper is really really thin so much more thin than just regular sticker paper and um i like that for these labels because they stay closed um being this thin Uh, they don't want to pop open like a thicker paper would pop open these I don't have a problem with that another reason why for lip balms I like to use the weatherproof is the uh, just the general rubbing of do I have one? Oh, I do let me show you the general rubbing of your hand look at that that's just one I've had in my pocket I don't know if you can see that but all of the um, the ink and everything and the top layer of the label paper has worn worn away um, and I forgot when I when I printed those I, I had forgotten that I have to use the um, weatherproof labels for these and so that's where I'm at here these are these are the weatherproof here they just, they last longer. It's, it's a little bit more, you know, professional not to have your label rub off on, on your, your customers. So yeah, I completely forgot that the last time I made lip balms. And so, yeah, I had sold some and given some away that are going to be, um, wearing off. Another trick that I found when you're wrapping anything, mostly anything like a circle, is to make sure the label itself overlaps on itself. It'll stay. Um, it'll attach to itself better than it will the plastic. 
And you know, sometimes people wonder why like these uh, lip balms can cost so much. I mean, these are kind of labor intensive. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time just cleaning the dishes to melt everything through and keep melting everything through. It takes a long time to create all the labels and cut them and then apply them. So it's not, it's not a high dollar product to make, but it is a high time consuming product to make. And time is valuable. And we should charge, you know, according to what our, our time as well as our material. Look at the difference in color. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. These are the vegan vanilla, and this is my unscented. And that pumpkin seed oil turns all of my lip balms uh, a, a green hue. I love, 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 love pumpkin seed oil, and it's it's so good. Um, but it's it's it, everything I make with it is is a uh, green. <laughs> I'm going to be making a body butter here in just a little while. I hope if I can find the, make sure I have the time to do it, um, that calls for the pumpkin seed oil. And it has a greenish, yellowish hue to it. Um, it's so good for you. One down, four to go. <laughs> Goodness. So I didn't remember to add my Tide Punch to my label design session. So I had to run upstairs really quickly, design that, print it, cut it. And now, now I'm almost done. Um, so almost 120, not quite, not quite 120 lip balms, uh, but almost 120 lip balms today. And I'm feeling it. My legs, my back hurts, this concrete floor. I have a pad. But, you know, the concrete floor, it's not good for me. Uh, but I have a massage and a, a facial here in a little while, so I'm glad I've got that to look forward to. Um, but I don't know that I'm going to do much more down here today. It's I'm, I'm starting to get beat. <laughs> and again, these are just time consuming. Um, I didn't, it's not like I didn't do anything else today. I, I did, but it just, it feels like, you know, it's 3.30. I've been, I've been at this since eight, you know, so um, very time consuming on and off all day long to get these. But here they all are, can you see? Two bowls of them. I wanted to uh, check Humble Bee and Me because that was where my inspiration and where these recipes originated from. And so I just, for fun, went up and looked at those old posts. So the original pumpkin seed, I think it was called Pumpkin Spice. It was 2014 when she put that on the blog. And my recipe is pretty different now. I've just, I've just kind of made changes to it throughout the years that it's a little bit different. It's, there's, it's, um, I, I, I could say it's inspired by at this point, but it's certainly not, not the same recipe. Uh, so I will link that one and I will go ahead and give you my recipe, what I do, and you can kind of see the difference if you're interested in that. Um, but that is my, I mean, that's the, that's my lip balm. I, I just use that one recipe. I love it. I love it. Um, yes, it's a little green with the pumpkin seed oil, but man, I love that pumpkin seed oil. It, I'll, I'll take it. Um, and then the vegan vanilla, I went back and looked at that one and it is from 2017 and it's pretty spot on. I'm still using that same formulation. It, it's a little bit more daunting because of the stearic acid and the uh, candelilla wax. I'm just not as familiar or comfortable with candelilla wax. So I haven't really veered off of that recipe. So I'll go ahead and link that too. She did cross out some essential oils on her original blog post because of this usage rating. It's not quite where it should be. So uh, yeah, she, she went through her old uh, blog posts and, and kind of made sure they were 
marked out where where it wasn't safe so that's kind of cool i love maria at humble bme she's she's a wealth of information so yeah i've got all of these lip balms now this should last me well into fall um i may have to make the unscented ones before then but all the others they should be good get me through all these craft shows let's get them going uh, yeah so thanks for watching this marathon lip balm making session and guys i'll see you in the next video so, bye